this video we are going to talk about how to use a customized wooden mold without using silicone. We shall also chat about retirement and a few things to consider when making a mold. For example, the weight, health and safety, lifting and so on. I am packing some of the soap that is cured, that is popo soap, moringa soap, hibiscus soap. So let's chat as we learn how to make a proper wooden mold. Hi guys. Hello Jobin family. Welcome back to my channel. This is Jacqueline trying to find the best view for you, okay? This morning I'm a Jovim soap packing papaya soap. Popo soap. Popo soap. Okay? So the popo soap is ready guys. I'm packing it. Ready for shipping and distribution. For those of you who don't know me still, I'll introduce myself. My name is Jacqueline Asiyama, a soap maker. I am based in Kumasi. <laughs> Kumasi village here in town of Ghana, West Africa. All right. I think that's better. So basically today I'm packing the soap, the purple soap. I finished packing, um, stamping it. It's dry or cured. It's ready for shipping, ordering, distribution. So they are beautiful designs. Look at that one. I love that one. It says it smells so lovely. Okay. If you want one, you have to call us Jovims at 024-700-1739. So there are few to do. I have a full trolley. I have to do this one, this one, and put it here. Okay. So tell me, guys, thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing our platform to your friends if you want to order products they are all natural and organic most of the ingredients are sourced here in ghana and a few from uk and us okay especially the essential oils most of them are not here in ghana for those of you who don't know i create my process of income to be here in africa that is one of the major reasons why i came back to africa from uk i had to ask for leave what we call sabbatical leave and paid leave for those of you who are not aware of that so on my leave i've decided to start some few incomes here for our for our retirement okay guys retirement is real it's not a joke okay so for those of you who are still thinking that 65 in retirement time or 68 now 70 some of us are saying that to retire we have to be 70. it's real and at that time naturally biologically very few people are functioned completely functional that means everything is also resting your bones your muscle you get x here and there so your productive your productivity generally slows down or lowers okay so much as you may have money at pension time the energy is low you may decide to employ some few people to do a few projects for you but trust me guys it's not the same as when you are involved fully or 100 percent fully okay you pay your money, but you cannot force people to work faster or at the rate you want. You pay your money, or they may even refuse to work. They tell you, no, we don't want that job. What will you do? But you need to eat. Guys, until we leave planet Earth, yes, until we are called to our maker, we need to eat. We have needs. Even if you built your own house, let's be honest, it will need maintenance. You will need to do a renovation to every once in a while, depending on where you are. Other than that, I'm packing purple soap. The other one I'll pack will be hibiscus. And finally, I was supposed to do moringa. I'll do moringa as well. So guys, that's an issue when we are constructing. So like I was saying, I can only chat to you while I pack this because it's repetitive. Yeah? So when I'm finished with this, guys, then I will do the dimensions of the soap cutter. That table you see there, that is also a soap cutter table. Portable, more like fixed, okay? These are customized. You can order one to your size, or you can buy the general one that does uh, the normal size of the bar soap. This Ghana has a lot of them. They are portable. You can do a table for them, or leave it as it is and lay it on the floor while you cut your soap. I've put the picture of how to use it or how it functions, that one, the portable uh, soap cutter. 
on TikTok. So if you want to know how to see how it works, you can do that. Most equipment we have, so buckets, uh, caustic soda, soda ash, uh, silicate. I also do perfumes, a few of them. We also do, we don't have packages yet, like plain plastic packages, no. So we do wooden spoons for you. We can also send you the wooden molds. So a few we do, okay? But the silicone molds, you have to ship from Gigi. And I buy from Gigi. Um, you can get from Amazon. You can get from eBay. You can also get from Alibaba. It's quite costly. Because what they do is they, the cost is in dollars or pounds. And it keeps fluctuating. There is no stability. So if, for example, I say one silicone mold is 160 Ghana cities, Next time it may be 200 or 300. And it, you cannot say that this is the quantum price for it. It's, it's quite unstable, so I don't do that. I do customize mold if you really insist. I can do one single wooden mold for you to see how it looks like. Then you can do for yourself by taking it to your carpenter. Besides the wood we use or the timber we use is heavy. So if you're so far from Kumasi, I will not ship it to you. Reason being that it will be so expensive, yet I could just take a picture of the model, give you the dimensions, do it yourself. You see what I mean? So most of you want the um, dimensions of the wooden molds and dimensions of the table, but these are heavy, okay? The only light thing is the temporary table here. This temporary or portable table, port portable soap cutting table is light, but the rest are heavy, you see? So for those of you asking me to ship wooden molds, customized for like laundry bags behind me, you see the laundry bags in the background? I made the wood. The, the, the dimensions and took to our local carpenter. He's used to do that for me. But it's quite expensive because the quality of timber is quite good and he is quite expensive on that. But they are heavy. The other thing I'm thinking about is um, using iron. You can do iron to make soap mold. Big soap mold which can do about 5 layers meaning it can do 40 bars of soap at 1 kilogram. But as I said, I repeat these things regularly. I don't want heavy stuff, okay? Because of manual handling, you'll be lifting these particular molds to pour out the soap and then carry the, the slabs to the cutting point. I don't want to lift too much. But look at me. How many times do you have to lift, lift, lift while making soap? Yes, you employ people, but that is health and safety. That means your workers also, most of the time, they'll be off complaining of backache, muscle ache. It's heavy. Soap is heavy. So if you're doing a mold, bear in mind that there's weight to bear. Hmm? Either write at a height that it's just slid to pour it out and cut it, or make it in batches that are manageable. Don't make big mold soap um, slabs that are, require heavy lifting. You cannot eliminate lifting entirely, but you can control how much you lift. For example, because I'm still a lone worker, I only make soap on Thursday. The other days is for cutting, stamping, mm -hmm, packing, uh, collecting orders and stuff like that. Thursday here at Jobim, I make soap. Otherwise, if you keep lifting, 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 with time, you get wear and tear on your body. Ah, we're not here. Come on. <laughs> anyway, so those of you who want dimensions of that, it's very simple. Let me show you something. I'll demonstrate for you. This here is a wooden soap mold, okay? This is a customized wooden mold. It is used to make the laundry bags. This is the laundry bag. If you look carefully, it fits. cut, 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 cut before I stop. I went and got a, a, a bar of soap. You see this bar? Go to your shop or buy a bar of soap. Take it to the carpenter. Let them measure this length that way. Let me show you. After 
are measuring it that way, put it that way as well. It should fit. Aqua ba mami. You see? Let me cut. Good afternoon. So dear friends, Jovin family, whichever way you choose, you should be able to line the bar like that, you should be able to line it down. So that when you're cutting, whichever you face the, the loaf or the shrub from here, it can make a bar also. You get it? Just get a bar. Take it to your carpenter. They will do something like this for you. It's hard wood. You see? So that's how you're going to be able to do customized um, shop molds. Okay? Without importing, we don't need silicone. Okay? All right. That said, I'll take a picture. Yeah, so that is one thing. The next thing is how to line this wooden soap mold with a plastic lining. Because I'm not using silicone. Silicone is expensive for no reason. You can still make soap without silicone mold. So let me use show you how I line these particular ones, okay? Let me put it closer. The best thing is to put it on the floor. Just a minute. I need to get our camera like so that I show you. I'll put it on the floor. Aha, uh -huh. that is better. Okay. We take our bar out. Now look at this. It's on the floor. This was the bin liner. Hmm? A bin bar. You put it like that. How can close enough? You see that? Make sure it drops in. Drop it in and tap one side. See? Then flatten it again. Try and organize it. And then tap the other side too. Secondly, you don't need the silicone mold. You see? 